Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Ricky again isn't here for For any information about Ricky's whereabouts, please contact HDTV. We miss you, or I do at least. Now for weather with my boy Mo. Hey, uh, you know how I mentioned time travel yesterday? Well, I may have sent myself back to when people wanted greasy hair. Anyway, as the designated weatherman, I must provide the forecast, for it is my solemn duty. Luckily, I caught the info before I came here. Right now, for you, it's 42 degrees, the temps will rise up to, to 44, and will hit 22 tonight. It's pretty sunny out there, and the rest of the day will be the opposite, as will a night. Now, I've got to find a way back. I hope to see you tomorrow. Prom is May 5th. Due to the fact he's being held out of town, at Purdue Ballroom in Wesley in West Lafayette, each parent must have a permission, parent permission slip signed and returned before they can purchase prom tickets. Permission slips are now available in the bookstore. Prom tickets will be sold starting Friday the 13th. Instead of bad luck, it will be your lucky day, as tickets will be available at a reduced price of $20 per ticket. This special price will be available for one week only. Tickets return to the regular price of $25 per ticket on April 23rd. Seniors, important days are ahead. April 18th, you will be able to pick up your Herb Jones orders during lunch. And on April 26th, there will be a mandatory meeting during community with administrators and student services regarding graduation. Class of 2019 will, will be having a class meeting on April 26th during commu community in the cafeteria. A Life Touch representative will be there handing out information about senior portraits. Now time for sports with Riley. Thanks, Allie. The Lady Hot Dog Tennis team traveled to Rossville last night and defeated the Hornets in a varsity play 5-0. Our reserve squad was also victorious, winning by a 4-1 mar margin. The team's next match is Monday the 9th versus Twin Lakes. The team hopes to come home with another victory. The varsity baseball team dropped its opener at Harrison last night, 9-3. Roger Angelis, Casey Henry, and Christian Lopez each had a hit in the game. Hot Dog Hip Varsity Softball opened their season at home against Crawfordsville. The team made an effort to come back in the seventh inning, but came up just short as they fell 7-6 to, to Crawfordsville. The Hot Dogs scored three runs in the failed comeback on a triple by Chloe Roberts and an error. Chloe Roberts had two RBIs while Katie Roberts and Jordan Anderson both had an RBI. Frankfurt collected six hits. Chloe, Roberts, and Avery Drew led the team in hits. The Hot Dogs hit the road on Tuesday to travel to Danville for a 5.30 p.m. start. Frankfurt Track and Field opened their season at home Thursday night against Harrison and North Montgomery. It was a great start to the season. Winners for the Hot Dogs include Nayali Alanis in the 100-meter hurdles and 300-meter meter hurdles, Colin Crum in the pole vault, and Caleb Seibert in the discus. The track team is back in action next Tuesday at TriWest. Now to Ivan. Okay, so what are you going to do over the weekend? Um, I'm going to have my main birthday party tomorrow night, and then Sunday I am going to the movies with my mom and shopping for prom dresses. Wow, happy birthday. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here at the new library, so what are you going to do over the weekend? Oh. I'm going to sleep and practice. Practice what? The musical. Oh, really? All right. Thank you. Muy buenas tardes, mis compas. Aquí estoy con Content Crab. A ver, ¿qué vas a hacer este fin de semana? Lotería. Ok. ¿Sí sabes qué es eso? Sí. ¿Qué es? Bueno, no se fue. Ok, I'm here with Yair. What are you going to do over the weekend? Well, I'm probably just going to go play some video games. All right. Uh, you want to play video games with Dallas? Um, maybe. I'm. I don't All right, Dallas. 
I'm here with Victor. What are you going to do over the weekend? I'm gonna go to Firescape and um, feed the homeless in Indianapolis. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, oh, very nice of you. <laughs> All right, guys. I am here with. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I am here with Alex. Hey, Alex. Um, what are you are you going to do over the weekend? What? Hey, what was All right, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Be sure to head to Dairy Queen on Monday from 4 to 9 as 15% of sales go towards crash. On this day in history, a cat was stuck in a tree for three days. When rescue came, the cat jumped into another tree and climbed down. Well, that's all for the daily announcements. Today we're leaving you with a video of Jessica Munoz speaking about her future plans. plans are to attend IUK for my pre-farm represents because they gave me a better financial aid and I did get into the Purdue University College of Pharmacy so I guess that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite memory is getting the, the win against Lebanon and yeah that was pretty cool. The soccer was really good this year so I like that. And I wanted to thank everyone for being the best staff I could have ever had. Um, but special thanks to Mr. Field for writing all those scholarship letters, and I think he hated me for always coming into his room. <laughs> and for Mr. Johnson <laughs> for allowing me to participate in CRASH, which allowed me to be more involved in the Latino community and becoming a better leader in the community. So I hope to take those skills and be better. I'm getting read, really red. I should probably take in speech. So. <laughs> for offering this type of classes like CNA. That really helped me make my decision. And thanks to Mr. Hines for, all, for making me realize that I'm smarter than what I think and to set bigger goals for myself. And I just wanted to say thank you. You guys mean a lot to me. This has been a Stare into the Void production. Do you feel? Do you feel?